in reports to law enforcement across the country and one right here in Meridian. Victims say they got a notification on their phone while driving that said an air tag that did not belong to them was traveling with them. Uh, in that case, the person was able to get a notification on their phone and immediately disable the tracker and call her, her local uh, police department. So it worked as it should. Police say they couldn't confirm in this case the AirTag was being used for unwanted tracking. Here's how AirTags work. The small circular device is sold like this, but you can buy accessories to easily attach it to keys, a backpack, or even a dog's collar. It uses the devices that you have to, to broadcast out its location. Uh, to to Apple in case the user or in case uh, you know you as a as a person using a tag loses it. Um, the unfortunate side, of course, is that when you have good use of technology, there's always a way potentially to leverage that technology for bad. While there aren't many cases of people finding air tags being used for unwanted tracking, police say there are still a few things to be aware of. First, if an air tag that doesn't belong to you seems to be moving with you you'll get a notification like this. When it alerts you, you can um, disable that tracking and you can, um, you can also have it make a sound, making locating the device a little bit easier. An Android device, the same thing can be done um, if you just download the Tracker Detect app. Police say if you get a notification like this, these are the steps you should take. To deactivate it so it can no longer track you, um, and then just don't manipulate it. Don't touch it because we can obtain fingerprints off of that as well as digital data, uh, serial numbers, things like that. Cybersecurity expert Ed Vasco says there are also preventative steps you can take. You can disable on, on your iPhone uh, the Find My network. You can actually disable so that your, you won't necessarily be tracked uh, by this AirTag. Police say with so few reported cases, this isn't something to be concerned about, just something to be aware of. Anna Azalian, Idaho News 6.